Hey YouTubers, as you guys can notice, if you can, if you can see, it's 11.35 and I thought I'd do a video for you guys because, number one, about a week ago, Parallels decided to release and unveil their flagship product, Parallels Desktop 4.0 for the Mac. Um, let me just show you what it looks like. Alright, so Parallels Desktop 4.0 for the Mac, it has a new icon. Um, some people say the icon looks tacky, but if you look at the icon from my point, my perspective, it looks okay. It doesn't look as good as before. In some people's opinion, it looks better than before. In some other people's opinion, it's simply simply a uh, subjective matter. So I'll, should be, I'll let you be a judge of that. Now, Parallels Desktop 4.0, it's lighter than uh, Fusion in terms of install. It takes about 340 to 60 megabytes to install, whereas Fusion would take 400... 30 or something like that, 430 megabytes. So 100 megabytes is safe. Now, Parallels Desktop performs either at or below Fusion's level in terms of performance, um, performance strengths. And unless you're playing games or doing hardcore graphic work on on whatever OS you're at, virtualizing, you won't notice the um, you won't notice this slight uh, lag in, in the graphic processing. And it's really negligible. You can't really tell. I've been using it for a few days now. I can't even tell. So let's launch it. Um, immediately when you launch it, you get this um, start startup screen. You have uh, it says "Welcome to Parallels Desktop." View tutorial. Import virtual machines. Run it on your Mac. Install it on your Mac. Import it, or just start using Parallels Desktop if you already have Windows XP installed. Um, so yeah, this. Um, I'm not sure if it's a new feature in Parallels 4.0 since I never used 3.0, but there's this cool feature called Suspend, and it's much different from Pause because I see there's a separate Pause button here, so I'm, I'm assuming these two things are kind of different, so therefore, thus the two icons. So I'm going to zoom it, and as you can see, there's this cool little application, uh, not application, but this animation here, this animation effect. So that's one, one reason I kind of like this icon. So yeah, uh, you could choose for it to share folders, so you can uh, read and write access here. So you can basically, uh, you can just drag files in here, and it will be on your Mac. I haven't installed anything on this yet, as you can see. Let me zoom in. At games. I just have the basic stuff. No, nothing fancy. But let's try see the startup times. I've been really amazed with the startup times of this machine. It's it is really fast. It's blazing fast. I'll show you guys later. I need a, I'm going to show you the configuration first, the new features and the what it boasts. Okay, so basically the same thing as VMware. You can type description. You know, you can say which OS version, which OS type, via the name. Um, you have boot up order. You can have, I mean, yeah, boot order. You can have it boot the HD first or CD-ROM first, whatever. You can choose startup shutdown options, optimization. Adaptive hypervisor. Um, I think it. I think what adaptive hypervisor does is adjust your CPU performance for the VM. Security levels services like uh, you know automatically capture release mouse pointer clipboards and stuff like that. You can share the folder, so you can um, drag files. You can share files between your Mac and your Windows or Linux or whatever VM. You can share applications. Uh, really, really cool. Coherence mode, it's, it doesn't work that well with multiple displays because uh, I'm not really sure how to explain it, but the positioning of your screens, if, you, if, if the notebook, like I have in the MySeft notebook, is above, is on the upper left side of the main screen, which is the Samsung, then the start menu would be on the dock, which the dock position will be lower than the bottom, the lower lowest um position on the laptop screen so the start menu will span the whole entire thing and basically be eaten it, it's really hard to explain but if you guys um, know what I'm talking about you or try it you, you'll probably know what I'm talking about you can adjust number of CPUs it's from one to two I have a dual core RAM all the way to eight gigs video to 256 megabytes that's up one that's twice as much as fusion has or gives you an option for floppy disk I actually disable it but I'm just too lazy um, CD-ROMs, you can have, use an image file for CD-ROM. Hard disk, same thing, bootcamp partition or image file. Network adapter, it shares off or leeches off your um, host your host OS. Parallel port for printing, sound, USB controller. 
Now, one thing that's really cool is when you drag drop files here, it will ask you if you really want to do that. And when you're um, when you plug in a new USB device, it will ask you whether if you if you boot into a VM, of course, and you plug in a let's see a external USB drive, it will ask you whether you want to you want to access it using the VM or your host OS, which is, would be Leopard in my case, or Linux if, if you use um, Linux guest OS. So let's start this thing. As I said before, the start time of this is just amazing. It's faster than my Mac, my Mac, which is something XP does not do every day. XP is really slow, in, even though it's much lighter than Vista. And uh, it boots really fast. I can see it's already you know to the welcome screen you know, right now. And uh, so yeah, it's really it's blazing fast. Not sure if you can hear that, but that was a startup chime. Um, when when you can have the option to to show the hard disk image here, and the display or I/O array here is really really cool. It's really nice and simplistic looking with enough information to tell you what's going on with the computer or a VM. Um, coherence mode is pretty cool. Coherence mode. It works much better in Unity mode in Fusion, in my opinion. So it starts coherence. And it has this nice sliding um, transition. You can change it in preferences here. Um, you can try change it. You can change trend, uh, use the, the transition effect only with you know these uh, these commands, you know, I'll show you later. Um, so yeah, it tells you if your machine is running coherence mode. Now what's really cool is that you can use the parallel desktop icon, which is changed. From the, the, the iMac looking thing computer to a start. And you can click on, hold on. Let me hide the Windows taskbar. And you can click on the on, on this parallel desktop icon. Let me do it again. And it'll give you your start menu, which is really, really handy. That's something Fusion does not have. And if you need a lock null application, gotta go back in Windows mode, window mode, and go back to um, you know, and go back to and find your application using the start menu here and launch it, whatever. So that's pretty handy. Um, let me just do, conf I, I showed you this before. Let's do the parallel preferences. Um, same thing as before, it tells you where to keep your virtual machines, you know, default folder appearance. Here you can change your dock icon, start menu, live screenshot, parallel desktop, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, you can bounce on notifications. You, you have these different effects as transition to full screen. You can animate the icon during, you can select which one you want to animate, which one you don't want to animate, and the animation speed. Memory is automatically allocated. You have a maximum of three gigabytes, I believe. Or eight gigabytes RAM, but three gigabytes of, I, I don't know what it does. Um, sorry about that. Networking, as I said before, leeches off your host OS and USB and speech. So that's the overview, a brief overview of Parallels 4.0. Um, really, really cool animations. I just can't stop watching it, you know. It's really, really cool. Especially the last part right there. So yeah, that's Parallels Desktop 4.0. It's a nice, worthy release, and I suggest you guys purchase it whenever necessary. It's much better an alternative to VMware Fusion, as well as VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a little bit clumsy, messed up my OS. Uh, Fusion is a little bit rough for my needs, but Parallels Desktop fits in your Mac OS environment perfectly with nice transitions and effects and a really good stable virtualization program overall. Thanks for watching this and snow up here.